Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. B, your Creole Connection, coming to you from the West Bank of New Orleans on a cloudy day. Uh, I'm headed to, well, we'll talk about where I'm going in just a second. I just want to mention the fact that the city is coming back. Since the pandemic, it's getting to back to its normal paces and we have a lot going on out here in New Orleans this weekend. We have the Zurich Classic Golf Tournament. We have the French Quarter Festival, which is featuring some 1800, uh, 1800 acts, bands, and performances, performance artists. We have uh, food galore, and it's all free. The, the concerts are free. Now, you got to bring a pocket full of money to enjoy and partake in all of the foods that New Orleans is known for. The uh, alligator tails, the crawfish bisque, the crawfish etouffee, beignets, and coffee with chicory, and all of those things that make New Orleans the culinary destination that it is. Uh, and we're going to... That's going on on the on the East Bank. I'm on the West Bank, and my what's bringing me to the city uh, this today is I'm in search for a vintage receiver for uh, my stereo. Now my receiver went out. And I have one component system, and went out, and I you know I want to try to replace it with another vintage receiver. I'm talking about something that was uh, manufactured in the 70s or very early 80s up to about 1982 you can still find those things and they are quite uh, a find when you do because they are so coveted and this little shop that i'm going to it has a lot of uh, items and sometimes you can just pick up some of these receivers or component parts for steel i i, I know for the most part these shops know the value of what it is that they're selling but unless you're an audiophile or someone who really enjoys these component parts from the golden age you know uh not everybody wants that they want the modern technology and all that so we're going to try to see what we can secure at the thrift shop and then uh like i always mention they have these restaurants that i, I like to enjoy and today I'm going to take you to one here on the West Bank of New Orleans uh, because, you know, I always try to avoid the, the chain restaurants or the, the ones that are on the beaten path and get off the beaten path and some of these nice little uh, Ma and Pa restaurants over on the corner of uh, a, well, uh, otherwise not a seedy neighborhood, but a neighborhood that certainly wouldn't be featured in a travel brochure. So we're gonna we're gonna take you to one of those today. It's a little Mexican restaurant called La Provin Providencia. La Providencia. So here we are. We're a couple of minutes from the red, white, and blue thrift store here in Gretna, Louisiana. And it's called the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store because they have red, white, and blue sales tags on different items. And they will put a certain color on discount um, each day. So on Mondays, you, and, and they, they switch it up so you never know what day, which color is gonna be discounted. You might go on a Monday and it might be red. Everything with a red tag is 50% off and you go back the next Monday and it might be uh, everything on with a white tag is 35% off. So they're very capricious, very fickle. They do what they want, but it builds us a little suspense and keeps people coming to the store. Okay, so here we are at the uh, red, white, and blue thrift store. And you see, here we have the audio and video 
uh, sign off front. This place is wild. It's just unbelievable how many people are in here for different things. We're going to the video section. You see, this is a, uh, a receiver here, but this is not what I'm talking about. This is Sony, but it's also a piece of trash. These are the buy it, use it, and when it breaks, throw it away type of receiver. This is not what I want. They got quite a few. Well, that was a bust. Had a lot of people in the store. It was like a land rush in there. Folks picking through clothes and so forth. I went to the electronics uh, section. And I did find a couple of receivers, but it's the more modern uh, items, things that I can go to any store and pick up brand new. Uh, and I would do that if that's what I wanted. But I want the I want a, a vintage receiver. So while I was in there, I went on eBay and I was able to locate exactly what I'm looking for, an STA, a realistic STA 2000, which was manufactured in about 1977 to 1981 or so by the Tandy Corporation back in the day. And you could pick those things up all day long uh, years ago. Now that's 40 some years. And they had such extremely high build quality that many of them are still operational. And if they're not, if they need repairs, you can get them repaired or refurbished. That's what I want. They had a Sony in there that was pretty nice, good little price on it. But I mean, again, after 1980, uh, after 1980, say 85, all the component systems became um, that the, the focus was on manufacture and cost and so you can you, you can get them all day long but it's that dark is that pl plastic that black plastic whereas what I'm looking for has the lighted dials the machine knobs and handles the aluminum uh, fascia uh, walnut sides things like that you, can't, you just can't buy that anymore. They don't manufacture that kind of stuff anymore. So we're gonna get involved in an auction on eBay and hopefully I can uh, win that and get exactly what I'm looking for. So we're gonna abandon the search for uh, a vintage receiver in the thrift stores because the likelihood of finding one is probably one in 50, 2% chance not not very good odds at all, but you, you can find things that you find valuable uh, in the electronic section. So it wasn't really a bust. It was just a confirmation that they're gonna, it's gonna be hard to find. So I probably have to, I probably have to go to a, uh, a, a alternative uh, source and which is what I'm going to do. Sorry. So here we are headed Northwest on the Bell Chase Highway. That little restaurant should be coming into view here pretty soon. Well, all right, here we are. Let me find somewhere to park and let's go check out what's on the menu. La Providencia Mexican Grill, 2300 Bell Chase Highway. Well, that was excellent for just a little small piece of change. Uh, the service was great. Just had a handful of people in there and the food was just 
uh, delicious. You know, there's a lot of romance to those places. It's quiet, it's isolated, uh, it, it has a mood to it, uh, and most times the, the ambiance is just really spectacular. Well, as you can see from the package, about the size of a receiver, I won the auction at eBay, all right? This thing weighs 43 pounds. Now this is a uh, this is a realistic STA 2000 stereo receiver. I was able to pick it up on eBay for $255. The bidding was pretty uh, intense for a while. It started at 50 bucks and right toward the end of the bit of the uh, of the bidding process it shot up to about 250 pretty quick 255 is what my winning bid was now I saw this on the on the um, pictures there's some refurbishing that's going to need to be done some cosmetic work that needs to be done not much uh, it looks good you can see the Walnut sides look good. And the front looks awesome. We're going to plug it in. Power. Nice. This is awesome. I'm gonna set it up with some speakers and see how see what it sounds like. So it took me a few minutes to get it all cleaned up and installed. I connected, I took out the old receiver and put this one here, replaced it with this, which is the realistic STA 2000. Now I gotta tell you, this was really a nice deal because this receiver is 43 years old and it's uh, it's in really good condition. I think you have some dings like the edges. Uh, not really too bad though. Some of the edges are a little scratched up. But the, the paint looks great. The walnut ends look great. They're in good shape. All the dials and switches work and it lights up uh, all the uh, meters, the view meters work. And the FM signal strength indicator works. The push button switches all work. Uh, turn this on and the music's gonna start. So it's fantastic. I won't play too much of it because of YouTube with its copyright issues, but I connected this receiver to an old cassette deck that I had, a cassette deck, you heard that right, and also uh, uh, a CD player and a turntable. Now, now these speakers, they have a story of their own. I was actually uh, j jogging one day and this was, these speakers were on the trash. They were being thrown away. And now I understand this. This was 10 years ago. And at that time, these big floor speakers were not in favor. More people were turning to the little bookshelf speakers and these just took up a lot of floor real estate. And so people were getting rid of them. And I saw them, went back and got my car and threw these in my, in my trunk. And that, like I said, that's been 10 years ago. And these things are and, uh, excellent. Now they, after, I mean, they gotta be 40 years old. And after 40 years, there's some wear on uh, the wiring on, the, on one of the subwoofers is a little, uh, is a little short in, in one of them. And so I, I need to get, get that fixed. But other than that, they sound excellent. And they're in good shape to say how old they are. 
uh, you can you can tell. I mean that's that's the inside of uh, the system. So it's all back up and and running running well. Again, nice warm sound. So, all in all, a, 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 uh, a good outcome. The search at the thrift stores didn't yield any uh, fruit, but a quick search on, on eBay and an aggressive bidding process, and here we are, back in business. So I pulled off the highway just for a second to just take in the bayou here. Bayou Lafouche, as the sun is beginning to set, and it's very serene. Makes me think about, as we went on the search for a piece of vintage equipment, we were able to find it. And, you know, it's nice to, I'm not trying to single-handedly bring back old school, but it's nice to play old school music on vintage equipment while working on modern day problems. It encases you, it envelops you with a sense of nostalgia. And sometimes those nostalgic moments can have joy embedded in them. And that's always nice. You know, we're not about things and stuff. We're more about uh, moments and people. And so we don't get caught up in the trappings. But we also appreciate some of the small joys of searching for and acquiring little things that we search for. You know, it's uh, the aim of this channel is to find moments of joy wherever we can in peace and serenity. Because there are a lot of problems in the world. And while we don't get caught up on discussing the problems, we're very aware of them. But we still take moments to search for little opportunities to express and live joyfully even in the midst of turbulence well this is dr b i am your creole connection and we'll catch you in the next video